Hello everyone. We're starting a very first stream today and we're playing some Kerbal Space Program. I've been playing this for a bit and uh, I've achieved some things. Actually I can I can show you no no actually to main menu. Hang on. Revert flight. Uh, whatever. How can you okay, let's just leave this. Let's just go to the space center. <laughs> Okay, so I've been playing this for a bit, for a couple dozen hours, and um, currently the next stage of uh, um, yeah, then the next thing to discover is to explore the moon, so to land on the moon. <coughs> I've already done the uh, orbit around the moon, and now the next thing up to do. Actually, not the next thing up, but I think I, I really enjoy to try out and to do is um, to collect people from uh, orbits, like save them from orbits. Say, for example, Aldables or Belsi. I'm not sure which one of them, but one of them has a low orbit. Let's check in the tracking station for a second. Actually, let me check. I've got the feeling that this stream is really silent, so let me check this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I think it's okay. Let's just see if it works out. Okay, so what we have now here is, um, obviously, this is our space station over here. And um, we have two people in orbit. Now this Tammy not, actually not. You're terminated. Okay, so we have Bilzy's debris. Come on, where are you? Bilzy's debris. Uh, there you are. Okay, so this is the one who's in low orbit. We also have Aldable, but this one's really far out. Like it's an orbit which is bigger than the moon's orbit around Kerbin. So I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with this one later. So let's focus on Bilzy, which he has a low orbit. Yeah, really low orbit, 78 kilometers, which is actually quite difficult to get um, to chase down. Like to get to the same orbit and get the same uh, to get close to them but we'll see this in a second so let's leave this space the tracking center and get to a launch I already had the rocket started so I think I can just yeah continue fly this rocket please there we are let's see okay so, first of all, let's turn on SAS, let's turn on maneuver mode to see how high our periapsis is. Because this is the lowest point on our orbit. No, actually the apiapsis first. So now it is 76 meters high, which is the height of this uh, rocket launch pad above sea level. And we want to get this one to at least 70 kilometers. The best one would be to get it right at 70 kilometers, but usually it turns out um, that you can't get right to 70, so you have to correct the orbit later on. So, <coughs> let's check the orientation. The rocket's already turned so that it's facing in the uh, equatorial one, like west. It's, uh, we east, actually. It's facing east. So, let's get started, shall we? Okay. Actually, let me explain just a little bit of this rocket. So the mission is to collect someone from space, so we have to get up to him, and then we have to like jetpack him over to this rocket and put him inside. The thing is that at the current level, the crew, like the crew um, crew hatch, like the, the top part, can only have one Kerbin at the same time. So what I, ha what I did is I attached a crew cabin below the, the, the top one, the command pod, and then I moved the pilot to the crew cabin, enter for, with the other one, with the jetpack, saved Kerbin, I enter into the command pod, and then get them both inside the crew cabin and swap them around so I can fly back. Because sometimes um, the people you rescue are not pilots, so they 
they can't, you can't fly the, the spaceship back with them. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get up there, collect him, and then fly back. So I built a rocket with four boosters and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six fluid oxygen tank. Fluid oxygen tank. Uh, fluid. Um, um, how's it called? Yeah, fluid fuel tanks. Whatever, for the uh, fuel fluid fluid rocket for the real Reliant engine. And uh, yeah, this is mostly this. These ones are used to get m almost to orbit. Then you use the fluid ones to get to orbit to correct my orbit and to chase the other, the debris down. The uh, Bilzy, he's called Bilzy, right? Let's check it out for a second. So we name him correctly. There we are, Bilzy, Bilzy. Okay. Um, also, I tend to take a lot of uh, uh, to do a lot of quick saves because things go wrong lots of times. And uh, yeah, let's try. Okay, so we have Bill C. Bill C. Okay, and we are at launch. Let's save this. Actually, quick saving, loading a quick save is faster than reverting and relaunching. So, let's do this. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're already turning the wrong way around, so let's just revert this one. Okay. <laughs> so that's more or less how it works all the time. You do something and it turns out wrong and then you <laughs> have to revert. I'm really bad at launches, but whatever. Okay, so let's try this one again. Get the maneuver mode out. Okay, and now let's tip forward. Uh, what the fuck am I doing wrong? There's, as you imagine, this is not the right direction, so uh, let's try this even once again. One more time. Okay. I don't know why it's not controlling. Well, whatever. Okay, so this looks much better. I hope it is not too loud, otherwise I'll have to turn the uh, rocket engine sounds down. I think it's also nice to, to to hear all this sound because it must be really loud when you're in there or outside. So it kind of gets kind of gets the the atmosphere. Okay, so we're starting to run on rocket fuel. Let's take our still not turned on fluid rocket up to maximum, so we can directly switch onto it. Oh, so I'm losing some frames. Maybe I'll have to turn down the video quality. Oh, I don't even need to... Okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, oh jeez. Okay, so now we're at 74 kilometers, and at 20k that's very well, so... Let's get our orbit straight. Uh, straight enough, it's not bad. Okay, so let's get our orbit up. So, th yeah, this maneuver I always have to do very quickly, because otherwise I lose the... I miss the point when it works, uh, when, when it's efficient enough. So I, I'm turning this until the periapsis gets to about 70k, so I have a stable orbit. And uh, there we are. That's it, I think. Oh, Jesus, I overshot this one. Okay, 70, please. Okay, that's good. So now we just have to turn towards the blue cross here. Um to have our engine pointed the right way for this maneuver for accelerating and then we wait until we get to the apoapsis apoapsis is called right? apoapsis and then we accelerate for 1600 meters per second 1600 LV okay so this one's right yeah I think everything is good Okay, let's leave the um, maneuver node. What's it called? Maneuver node? Yeah, maneuver mode. So we can see the real periapsis. And I think now we're good to full throttle. Okay. 
Let's hope it works out right and I don't get too high in the able abscess, otherwise we'll have to correct it back down. Let's see. Let's see. Looks pretty good to me. So This is always the hardest part for me, like getting it up and tuning it right because if I miss it, like if you don't get the right angle and you accelerate too much and not at the right point, you always fuck up your apoapsis and then it's a ton of fuel to just get the orbit straight again. Like, round. But I think this one's really good. We're actually going down on the apoapsis, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we good! Okay, so eventually we got really high, but 87 is not too bad. Not too shabby, so. Let's check this one and uh, oh, let me think. Is it more efficient to? F yeah, maybe it is more efficient to actually get the um, orbit to, to take to pull the apoapsis down. So let's try this one first. I like these controls much more actually, except at the beginning when uh, when you have to pull a lot. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Caribbean apoapsis. The fuck is this? I mean, 72, 70. I won't complain, right? Yeah, definitely not. Okay, so let's get ourselves turned that way. So the thing is here, I'm trying to get a um, an orbit as low as possible, about 70 because then it's easier to catch up to the other vessel to the uh, Temi, no, Bilsi, Bilsi to Bilsi who is about uh, at about 78 kilometers and uh, the thing is the lower our rocket ship is the less it takes us to catch up because I'm not good at timing a uh, launch with um, with them orbiting around Kerbin so I usually just I usually just launch whenever and then try to catch up. And if we are on a lower orbit, like seventy kilometers, is eight kilometers lower than them, so it takes just a couple orbits to catch up to them. And uh, the higher it is, the longer it takes because what our um, velocity gets lower, the higher the orbit is, and then it takes longer for us to to um, yeah to to catch up with them. So since now. We're just doing very little burns, very small burns. I'm, I'm taking the rocket thrust limiter to 20, but 20. Let's, let's leave it at 21. That's good. And um, to control the burns better. And um, yeah, whatever. So now I'm I'm trying to get the uh, perhaps as, like the, um, the the orbit very low. And then we're gonna have to tilt it to get to this white one, white orbit, which is Bilsi. It's actually set him as target already. Okay, so... Then we'll have to get to one of these ascending or descending nodes and uh, and tilt our orbit to match theirs. But I thought as the periapsis is quite... R like right here, might as well do it. So let's try this. Let's see if we can get this right. Jesus. Okay. Oh, the periapsis is a little low now. But hang on, we're at the apoapsis, right? So we can turn forward and uh, we should be able to accelerate just the tiniest. Okay, they were 70, 72. That's perfect. Okay. So now set so of speed to target Okay, no, 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 I don't want to do this, okay. So, how many, how much, okay, electric charge. Sometimes I happen to get really low on the electric charge, so I try to turn, on sa to turn off SAS um, when, whenever I don't need it. So, let's add a maneuver here at the descending node to tilt our orbit. So, now it's the red controls, let's see which one's the right one. Oh cool, I got a ride on the first one. Let's see if we can get this one close. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Bad thing is it, it fucks you up your 
Oh, I forgot this. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it fucks up your epilapses and periapses. Just th shit, I think. I don't know enough of space mechanics to uh, explain to you why it does this, but... It's kind of shit. Whatever. Okay, so I think... Uh, maybe it was too much. Oh, how much is it? 0 0.1. Oh, I think that's good for me. So let's just do this. It's in 9 minutes. Let's turn there first. Like, let's turn to the blue crosshair. Actually, let me think. Maybe. Hang on. This is a. No, well, no. This is descending node. So, um, probably doesn't make sense. Oh, jeez. I'm a hundred kilometers high. Fuck this. It's not good. Okay, so I've got nine, nine minutes. Let's see if we can get ourselves a better orbit. While still having a low tilt inclination. So let's see. Um, I mean, this looks like it. I'm entering a zone. Zone HDF, measure the temperature in flight. Oh, I don't have temperature gauges on my rocket, do I? Or do I actually have some? I have some. Hang on. What if I log the temperature? Because I have these, these very stupid achievements. Which I fly over there and do this and this. And it's like on the opposite side of curve. And it's really annoying me to to do these these measurements. But, I mean, you're entering Kana, Katana's Redemption. Yeah, okay, I left it. Well, whatever. Um, I just thought I could catch one of those. The thing is, they give tons of signs, and really missing out on signs. Like it's really anyone who's anyone of you who's played this knows it's at the beginning. It's really hard to get like some signs. Once you've unlocked the first couple levels, it's like a ton of signs. Everyone, every time, and like you you, you get you catch everything you can. So now we have a seventy seventy two orbit. I don't know how I did it. No, hang on. That's our current orbit. Let's see what happens if we go there. 93. Okay, let's see if we can take this even lower. Like, 7... 70. No. Like, 70, 72. That sounds good. 350. Yeah. Okay. Let's turn on Let's always check the battery load. Because it goes down to... Uh, it goes on too quick. <laughs> Maybe I should um, add some more batteries to the rocket. Well, whatever. I think it's we're good. Let's swap to many of them maneuver. Okay. Pointed towards the blue crosshair. That's something I missed like a lot of the times. I just miss pointing to crosshair. Then it fucks up my orbit, and I have to do the whole thing again. It's really annoying, but I'm trying to train myself to get to the crosshair first, and then warp to the maneuver. Okay, so we have 30 se 40 seconds burn time. Let's see if we can pull this down a little bit to get a more exact maneuver. I think 14 seconds is good enough. So now we're just waiting till we get about like seven, seven seconds or something, and then we we're gonna actually let's 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 keep this here so we can turn it back quickly. Because the thing is, you can turn this one with your mouse, and the throttle you can't. You have to do it with space. No, not space. Shift and control, and uh, it's really annoying. Because if, we, if I want, want to quickly change to, like, say, third throttle, I, I always have to time it right with the uh, with control key. Because that's when it gets the throttle down. So now let's do this. Okay. So we can pull this down quickly with the thrust limiter. 
see if it works. Okay, I uh, have to readjust, readjust, okay, readjust. Okay, and stop it. 70, 75. I went 0%. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Really good, okay. So let's check our orbit. Very well. That's us. That's him. Oh, this will take. Oh, this will take many laps. But whatever. What are we gonna do? Is this is a periapsis? Okay, so we're gonna do another maneuver, just to take ourselves, um, the, just to take the apoapsis down. Okay, there we go. This is a good one. So then it's it's uh, we quicker. It it's like it takes less laps to. Uh, catch up with Bilty. Okay. Uh, there we are. Like, fraction, half second burn time. 30 seconds. Funny how this game spent lots of time just waiting for events and, and waiting those seconds and especially later when, when landing you have to like I've deployed all, all the parachutes and I'm just waiting and hoping nothing goes wrong so I don't dare accelerate or whatever and just waiting there. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So, a little more. Okay, we're good. We are good. So here's in an orbit. No, that's us. He's in an orbit. Let's see, what kind of orbit does he have? Is it marked? Oh. This one, it's a 70, 71, no hang on, that's mine, okay, that's his, 87 and 77, okay, so quite a high orbit, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan a maneuver from the periapsis and pull the apoapsis up to, um, What? Oh, yeah, that explains it. To like 77 or something. Actually, no. Let's do this maneuver opposite of his periapsis. Yeah, so we don't. So we have to rise the least. Hang on, that's. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a ridiculous amount. Like, it's very little. What is his... Oh, I hate how it focuses on you. I know there's a shortcut key for changing it to the planet, but I never remembered. Uh, Kevin, perhaps 76. 76. 76, how much? Okay, go away. Is it still marked? Kerbin apoapsis. How many Kerbin apoapsises are there over here? What's going on? Okay. Oh. Okay. His periapsis, my apoapsis. So that's 700 meters difference from 77k to 76k. Okay, so now if we have this warp, which gets us to 76k, yeah, that's 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 really enough. That's good. That's good. So now the thing is, oh, okay. So now the thing is. We have a huge intercept because we're far away. So what I'm, what I'm gonna have to, do, uh, what are we gonna have to do? Is we're gonna have to add some more bits to get this intersect distance down, so we get close enough. Oh wow, that's many orbits. Jesus, one day and one hour orbiting around. Okay, so now I overshot it. Let's, um, shoot. Well, I believe, uh, I, I think 15k is good enough. Yeah, I think it's good enough. We can always correct it later. Yeah, 15k is good enough. I mean, it, it wouldn't change much if I, oh, it does. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I take this, take it. 100 kilometers, there we are, 5 kilometers, 5k, 4k, I mean, I take that, I take it, I take it, cool, so we have an intersect of a little less than 5k, 
we've planned it. We're gonna have to do how many orbits? I do not know. But we have to warp forward for one day and two hours. And let's see how it works. Oh Jesus, I think I forgot something. I think I remember that if we have our periapsis at lower than like 71k or something, we can't warp. We can't quick warp. Well, whatever. Let's see it. Let's see if it works. Okay, five times, ten times, fifty times, hundred times. Okay, uh, and uh, oh, we can. Great. I mean, it'll still take some time, but it's okay. <laughs> I love how the Earth wobbles around. <laughs> okay. Oh, hang on a second. I, I still have... Oh, no, okay, SAS doesn't consume anything when warping. That's good. Because if we don't want to consume our precious fuel when wobbling around Kerbin. Okay, one hour, 40, 30, 20 minutes. Okay, actually, we can warp this by hand. I think an orbit is around 30 minutes, so now we should be within hand warping. Sounds stupid right now. <laughs> okay, so, oh, uh, look at this. We've caught up with you little Bill C. You won't be alone for long anymore. Okay, let's get sentimental when you get him back inside. <laughs> Maybe we won't. Okay, I think that's a good point to take a quick save, right? So we are, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Bill Z, Bill Z, Bill Z, yeah, sure. And then intercept, no, intercept maneuver. Ma how'd you write this one? Maneuver? I hope so. Whatever. I don't care. Okay, so we're really close now. Now it's just to warp towards the maneuver and um, and accelerate. Actually it'll take us more than one orbit now that I think of it because we're going all over there accelerating to get to the same orbit height and then we're meeting over here. So it'll take us more than one orbit. But it's okay. Okay, so let's see if we can warp over here. Yes, please. There we are. Let's turn the Earth so we, we can actually see something. There we are. That's good. Very well, very well. Okay. So now... Let's see... Oh, no. Keep messing up the buttons for up and down. Because, like, if you push the up button, it goes down, and if you push the down button it goes up. Differently from left and right and rotate. But whatever. I'll get used to it someday. Maybe. Okay. See, it's at 18. Suppose that's good enough. We still have 450, which is okay. We're gonna burn. Hang on, are we gonna burn? Just 53. Like, 5, 5.3. I mean, yeah. It's good. It's good, I like it. What is our... Oh, that, that's great. 76. That's great. What is our intercept? 6 kilometers. Perfect. Per perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to warp all the way around to about here. Well, let's warp here first. Hang on. How far is this? Doesn't tell me. Uh, 40 minutes. And periapsis is 90 minutes. Whatever, let's, let's, let's warp over here just to be safe. We're closing in. How close are we actually? Oh, we're already 7k? That's great. That's great.
great. Okay, so now I don't know if it u if if it's actually useful, but I usually I usually tend to do a um, a burn at the apoapsis, which is noted before the intercept, and I tend to use a burn to um, make the orbit more similar. So if I fuck it up, I um, I don't move away from from uh, from Bill C again, because you see here there's quite a difference, and here's the, there's none. So um, I, I tend to move away again. And this way, well, I guess it don't makes a dist it doesn't make a distance, but um, whatever. It, it's space. It's like we're talking space. Oh Jesus! Stop it! Oh fuck! Um, yeah, I think, uh, so much for that. Let's go orbit, and let's go, um, f forward, actually. Well, whatever, we'll have to do it without. That's what you get for getting, for hitting the wrong keys. Actually, Cable Cable Space Program is great for hitting, hitting the wrong keys. Do you know what the keyboard short get? like the keyboard shortcut is for taking a quick save it's alt f5 you get it right you're sitting in your room in the dark and you're playing curl space program and you're like oh my god it's so hard i finally got here i'm going to hit alt f and you miss the key yeah it happened to me it happened to me it's really annoying i was playing with a friend and he laughed so hard I was almost crying because it was quite a different, difficult thing to fly. I don't remember what exactly, but I think it was the same thing about. Or I think it was a rescue mission as well. Wow. Like, <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. So. We're getting. Have we overtaken him? Jesus. We've already overtaken him. Are you kidding me? No, he's faster. I don't get this. Yeah, sure, and the, the speed is... The, the distance is decreasing, so he has to be farther away. Well, whatever. I suppose it goes right. I suppose it works out. So we're at a distance of 6.3k, we're supposed to get to 6. So now what I'm going to try to do, after quick saving obviously, is to get my relative distance with respect to uh, build C to 0, and then fly towards them. So now we are at our 16 meters per second relative speed. And uh, I think we'd start doing it, right? We're 6.2k. It's good enough. Let's take a quick save as uh, Bill C. Still, um, um, intercept. Like, actually, I, I like calling them by the distance because it's easier to know which ones uh, when, like, time. Okay, so we're at 6k more or less. So now let's switch to our viewing mode. Where are you, Bill C? Let's see. Okay, over there. And you're catching up. So this is... Are we pointing the right way? Well, we'll see. So what do we want to do? Target. So this is our prograde. Hang on. Okay, so this is where Bill C's... Like, Bill C's backwards, and Bill C forwards is on the other side. Towards Bill C, we have to go uh, opposite way of this one. But we're moving this way, so if I... We call it right. We have to turn retrograde. Oh, I love when it does it on its own. Though I suspect it consumes my electric charge. Well, whatever. So now we're turning backwards, and now I think if I turn my engines on, target distance, sh the velocity should drop. Yes. That's it. That's what I want to see. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the total. Oh, and I la. Oh, it's rising again. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's. Okay, 
0.5 meters sand. That's okay. So now we want to go to this marker here, which is is this toward Billsy? This is never towards him. Like never ever. I'm getting this wrong. Oh my. Like, it doesn't feel like... I don't remember correctly. Okay, let's check the handbook just a second because I don't want to fuck this up. Um, where are we? Control. I hate that there's not a search bar. Or is there? I don't know. Um, let's see. Space trail. Hang on. What are we looking for? We're looking for the, um... Maneuvers? Maybe? No controls, I think. General no map and time flight directions. Sounds good. Um Ah, it's the shortcut keys, I don't want those. I want management screens. No, that's not it. Or definitions. Okay, there we are. No, that's not it. Oil basics, get him back down, blah blah blah. Aircraft, oh no, that's planes. Communication here, career. I hate looking for things in here. I never find it. Flight interface. Okay, that's better. Anti room maneuver. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay, that's not the one. Let's see if we can find. Uh, this funky purple icon. Orbit nodes. No. Can't find it. Jeez. Where is it? Oh, man. Why does it do that to me? Okay, whatever. We're just, just gonna. We're just gonna go, um. Quick save here real quick <laughs> and uh, uh okay we good and uh, there we are let's see if this works are we actually lowering our distance we are that's good, okay. So now if we turn left a little bit, we might turn our true direction right towards him. Does this work? Please? Please? Okay. I don't know if it, it's linear, of the, if the, um... Like, if I hold my, my direction, my, my rocket, more to the right, if the uh, direction is linear to this, or if it's some fancy non-linear space stuff thing. I don't know the formula, honestly. Would be funny to know if anyone know uh, any one of you knows or knows where to find it. So we are getting closer, which is promising with respect to our th theory of uh, what this icon is. So let's see. Beautiful. We're getting an intersect of 600 meters. You can always jetpack this far. Well, actually, you can't, but. Well, maybe you might be able to. But you risk quite a lot. No, no, I won't do that, but. 600 meters, yeah, like you can close this in no time. With the rocket. So. I'm, I'm not accelerating all the way back over there. First of all, because we probably won't need it. I mean, we, we don't need it at all. We will get there in no time without this uh, acceleration. And secondly, because I need the delta V, like we need it, first of all, to deorbit, to fall back down. And uh, these fins I've built to the uh, to the front, which I needed to stabilize the ship because I I go back in I, I go in backwards later on. Like the rocket is meant to go backwards because in the front there's no heat shield for reentry and. Um, so these fins are needed to stabilize the rocket while it's flying backwards. And they tend to overheat. I think I should replace them with something that 
like it's more stable and doesn't get overheated that quick but as of now they overheat so I will use the last bit of uh, delta V of thrust to break the rocket when uh, they start getting start to overheat usually it works out pretty well and I some some of these back fins sometimes explode but it's not big a deal like the front ones are the important ones okay where the fuck are you ah oh nice how you see him against the clouds but not against space or against the sea okay so we're getting closer 1.8k that's very nice so now we'll wait a little bit more until uh, I'll wait a little bit more until it's like say 800 600 and then I'll break actually let's turn already let's turn backwards and uh, take down or oh wow we're getting close real fast Okay. 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 We have to break. Otherwise, we're missing our intercept. Okay. There we go. Stop it. And now we're going to go this way again. Hello. Let's turn on chase. Yes. Okay. I think we're in good shape. I'm getting used to these orbit thingies. Orbit rescue missions. <laughs> I think it's quite funny how they survive up there without any health support. But like... <laughs> they can stay up there for the time you take to end the mission. <laughs> it's really funny actually. Although I've heard of some mods which um, add some uh, fluid, like uh, water and, and food things to the Kerbals, and you have to bring it over and oxygen and, and, and whatever, but I've never tried any mods out, uh, honestly. Though I heard of there's some good mods for um, the maneuver widget thingies, for the maneuver things that you can place them better and turn them around better. Whatever. Okay, so now let's... Uh, I usually try to go really close. Let's see what our intersect is. 57 meters. That's good enough. I'll try to get as close as possible and then break. And then jetpack him over. <gasps> there, we can see him. Hello, Bilsey. Hello, Bilsey. Okay, I think... We're good, are we? Yes. Okay, let's get our relative speed to zero. That's great. Sixty meters. That's great. I think I, I should let's let's quick save first. Because you can never have too many quick save. Cause it's such a pain in the ass to get back up here. So um how we call it? Um um before jetpack. Jetpacking over. That's it. See so can we already oh, I always forget can can we switch over to him? Yes, we can. That's great. Okay, so let's move our pilot over th first. Hang on. Transfer crew. Yes. Over here. Move over. Now we're empty. Cool. And now we move over and jetpack over. Where is our beautiful rocket to pick us up? Over there. Oh wow, that's quite a distance. Well... Bill see. Oh, he's a pilot! That's cool! So I can fly him down. I don't need to have to switch anymore. That's cool. Okay, you evad. Um, yes. Let's turn your jetpack on and... Uh, let's get going. Oh, Jesus. That is quite fast. Uh, no, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no. 
I always mix the jetpack controls up. Uh, no, this way. I want to go this way and this way and this way. Go to the front. The fuck, Billsy? Okay. Now stop. Yeah. Now get down and forward and yes, please. Hold on. Okay. That was quite a quick Eva. And we have tons of propellant left. Stop. So, we might have made it the 600 meters. <laughs> but we don't need to. So, now we have Bill C collected. Which completes our contract. Now we just have to take him back down. And to do this, we are going to. Yeah, I think I'm going to plan a maneuver. Actually, no, I don't need it. Do I? Just to turn backwards, forwards. Oh, I don't remember. No, get into orbit mode and then turn. Yeah, retrograde backwards. We want to break. Let's hope we don't crash into the vessel, into Bilzy's debris. Okay, now we want to break. Can we untrack this? No, we can't. Um. KD is getting closer, but still. Okay, so now we want to get the apoapsis, no, the periapsis down to about 20k. I, I found it to be good measure. So, should I think that we need some more thrust? Might need. Oh no, we don't. Okay, so now we are at our 60, 50, 40, 30, and as soon as we get to 20, I'm gonna stop. Okay, let's get to auto. Okay, so now we're falling in backwards. And backwards is very important here because this saves us from burning our cabin. Because if the engine burns away, we don't care. I like how I'm flying with Billsy now. Like, the rescuer flies, the, the rescued flies the rescuer back. <laughs> it's a weird thing to do. <laughs> but, well. No. You never know those kerbins, kerbalins. How are they called? Kerbals? Kerbals, yeah. Oh yeah, it's called Kerbal Space Program, makes sense. <laughs> so now we have a periapsis of 20k, a periapsis of 82. 14 minutes to touchdown. So... I sh w the, the reason why I'm going to 20k and not all the way down is that I don't want to get a steep angle because this 20k it doesn't factor the uh, uh, atmosphere in so as soon as you get low enough like at usually at about 50 50 kilometers we start getting hot and this breaks us and so the periapsis starts dropping down and we're actually falling down if we get it lower I think the angle would be too steep and there would be no time to um, get slower because we have to break before we can deploy the parachutes and if we are, um, if it is higher, I've, I've seen that if I go to about 40 or 50 k periapsis, um, I also fall down. But I get this that fast for such a long time that in the end, I don't know. I found it more difficult to break. But I think there's many ways to do it, and I have no formula to compute this. So it's just, well, a good heuristic measure. Just found out works right, so guess that's it. So we're still in space. Well, let's warp a little bit. I think we're still high enough. We can still warp till we get to 70k and leave space. And then uh, we're gonna go slower because yeah, then it gets delicate. Because <laughs> I think I'm going to quick save. Because we have rescued him, we haven't had a quick save since we rescued Bilzi, right? Okay, it stops me automatically. Let's quick save. Bilzi. Actually, <laughs> let's call it Bilzi Flying Jebediah. Je can't spell the name. Jebediah Back Home. <laughs> kind of like a title of a children's book. Let's save it like this. 
very well. Now we're at 69 kilometers and falling fast. Um, we still have tons of electric charge, which will keep us turned backwards. That's why it's important to have some electric charge left, because I once had it that I was running out of electric charge and I still was quite high, and uh, I, I had to do the final maneuvering by hand, and it's really easy to fuck it up when you have this, like, the wind of the atmosphere blowing around and it turns a rocket around, and if you, as soon as it turns you around, it you're fucked. Like, that's why I quick save all the time because as soon as it turns around just load the quick save and try it over again. But I think we have tons of tons of charge left, so we might as well make it. We might as well make it without having to do that ourselves. So let's see how it works. Well, I hope we get to the light bright side of the uh, planet. Let's see where we are. Okay, no, we're really the opposite way around. So, no, there's no way... I mean, I, I, we might, we might, we might as well get to the light side. Because I hate landing in the dark, because I can never make out what's land and what's water. Which I think this is land. Let me turn off my light a second. Okay, yeah, I think this is land. Yeah, because the problem with land is actually let me let me do this right now. The problem with land is is higher. You see this difference means that there's like a couple hundred meters or a couple kilometers higher. And um, when flying down, you have to keep in mind that the it's higher and you don't want to crash into it because you miss that the Earth is a couple hundred meters higher than the water. Also, the water is more um, how do you say it? I like it doesn't matter that much if you crash into it, but if you crash onto the earth, the rock blows up whatso like no whatsoever. Like there's no way you're not blowing up if you crash into the earth. Well the water I think is more permissive, that's the word. Right? Permissive. Like it it allows you to crash a little bit and survive it. Maybe the rocket breaks off, but you're still good. Okay, so now we are gonna have to check on uh, Check on our wings so they don't overheat. Still no sounds, but we're starting to get into the atmosphere. Yeah, as soon as we see those red flames as we burn in through the atmosphere, we're gonna have to check on these wings, these winglets. There we are. There we are starting. I love this effect. Like honestly, I could look at this all day. Wow. I should that set this as my screensaver. It's great. If I knew how to make how to take screenshots in Curve of Space Forever, I take a screenshot right now. Okay. Now we have those gorges. We have our winglets burning down and it's okay. It's okay. I'm cool with those burning down. We don't need them for stability. Actually I think if they leave, if we lose them, we're sta we're more stable. As soon as these start lighting up we're we're getting fucked. Yeah. Let's see how this turns out. Let's see, let's see. We're at 40k. Stable. We have 300 Delta V fuel. Okay, they're, they're the gorgeous. Okay, so now I have to... Ch uh, uh, maybe break a little bit. Well, it doesn't make much sense. I'll just save it when they get critical. I'll just save it for when they get critical. So now we're at perhaps as you see it's minus thirty four kilometers because we've braked so much that now we're we're gonna go real low. Okay, we're at forty kilometers, which is forty one over the sea, so now it's gonna get to start start to get loud because we're getting into a thicker atmosphere and uh, there's more friction and like Kerbal Space Program makes this really loud. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna stu start to lose some winglets over there. Let's see how this works out. Brace yourselves, and there we go! <laughs> I love these huge explosions, and how how the rocket doesn't care at all. Like, 
It doesn't care. It doesn't care at all. I love it. Okay. Uh, oh, whatever. We ran out. So we we can I make it, we can we can drop the stage. There we are. And now we should error break. Yeah, we have our heat shield. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. How high are we? 31k. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, this is the sea, I think. So it looks like we're gonna land in the sea. Which I approve. I appreciate this. So... 29k. We still can't deploy any of our parachutes. Or they will just rip off. Actually, I don't know what happens. I've never tried it. I think you cannot deploy them if they're red. But I don't know. I should try this. Should we try this right now? Maybe we should. Let's quick save first. Let's quick save. It's a build C, build C, um, test, parachute theory. Okay. Let's see what happens if we deploy a parachute. Let's have a good look, and there we are. Um, I don't think they deployed. No. Maybe they will deploy it as soon as um, as soon as the temperature gets okay. But I'll still revert because it takes so long. Yeah. Okay, so it deploys as soon as it allows it. Well, it's a cool feature. I mean, it makes it easy for you. You can't fuck it up all upright, up up there. Okay, so now I'm gonna revert because getting down from 12k to Earth with these huge, two huge parachutes is gonna take ages. Okay, so I'm gonna revert real quick. So where are we flying over there? Should be able to launch, Billy, what the fuck? Test parachute theory, there we were. Okay. So now we're just not deploying the parachutes? Okay. Oh, there comes the fire. <laughs> I love how it loads in after the, the model of the spacecraft and the gorgeous on the, on the winglets. Okay, so now we're breaking. We're getting to a thicker atmosphere, below 20k. And we're breaking. Now we just want to drop a little bit further. Actually, let's turn... Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, maybe it was the quick save that reset this uh, stability assist direction. So now we're dropping... Oh, we're starting to accelerate again. Hang on. We need this one. We need this. I don't want to get too fast to uh, deploy it. I love how, how you can shoot at the parachute I don't know if that's meant, if it's meant to be like this, but I also always use it like this. Like, I take the parachute and I tell him, you only open at 2k, 2 kilometers, 2.5 kilometers. But I actually threw it out much earlier. And so it breaks me down to 250. I mean, you saw it, we were at 400 meters per second. But it doesn't deploy, so it's like half deployed. You get like two stages of parachutes. I think this is really cool because you can throw it out, but still get down quickly and then you can decide with this slider when you want to open it all the way. Yeah. <clears throat> so, there we are and there we're breaking. And now we're at 1500. I think as soon as we're at 900 or 1000. Let's let's say 1000. At a thousand, we should deploy the other two, just to make sure we don't crash into some random mountain range. Yeah, I'm afraid we're landing on a mountain range. Well, I don't know where we are, so I hope those who are going to collect us with well, whatever vehicle they're getting to, they're taking to get over here, are already on their way because <laughs> Bill C doesn't want to wait to get back home. He doesn't want to wait to get back on Kerbel and to walk on Earth, but he also wants to get home. He wants to go home and play some Kerbel space program and watch some Netflix. As all of us do. Yeah, we're all human. All our Kerbins, Kerbels, Kerb, Kerbs. 
can't get that name wrong. I can't get it right. So uh, we are at sev 7 meters per second. We're falling at 7 meters per second, which is quite good. I think we will tip because this doesn't look too flat where we're landing and we don't have feet like we have a rounded um, heat shield which doesn't help us stay upright but I think the rocket doesn't care and neither do the Kerbals Kerbals? Kerbals and uh, yeah and uh, I found 7 meters per second to be like a limit if you go faster you start losing parts and since we have nothing lower than like if, if I had an engine I'd say okay you can go 10 and at worst the engine just breaks but here I think we cannot afford to like get anything to break anything because actually, actually we have Jebediah our, our originary pirate pilot sitting in here so we don't want to lose him Okay, there we go, brace for impact, and... Pew! Yeah, and it took. Okay, cool, there we are. We're stranded in a random mountain range, and we're clipping through the mountain. Actually, just the camera. Where are we? Let's have a look, just, just, just for random facts. Over here. Okay, so on the opposite side of Earth of the Space Center. More or less. Jesus. So... Lucky us who have a button to get recovered, and they just recover us. They put us to sleep, and we wake up at the space center. If we were to load. Okay, first we hear the birds, and then we wake up, and we're happy to see that... Yeah, I did a temperature scan. Yes. Um, let's not talk about it. Very well. And we have collected our... Our cute little Bilsey. There we are. And uh, let's accept our contract completion. And uh, I'd say that's it for now. Done a beautiful, beautiful orbit rescue mission. Now we have Bilsey, our happy pilot, and he has orbit around Kerbin. But not only has he orbited. He's already flown. That's quite cool. I've never done this before. To flow with anyone except... Uh, except I've flown everything with Jebediah. And at the beginning I was flying with Valentina. Yeah, the flyby with the moon was with Valentina. And then I switched over to Jebediah because... Uh, whatever, I can't spell his name. I think that's the reason. I can't spell his name, so I'm like, hmm, he's cool. He's probably cool. And I orbited the moon with him. The Mun. The Mun. No, I don't know how you're supposed to... to, uh... to pronounce this one. The Mun. The Mun. I mean, it's obviously a joke, and it refers to the moon without saying moon, but... I don't know how it's meant to... how it's meant to be pronounced. So, let's... yeah. Let's have a nice shot of those aisles, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!